This tutorial will deal with the topic of search and replace in OpenOffice, specifically looking to replace a word with the bold version of that same word. So what we want to do is look for a word such as clocker, the name of one of the characters in this story, and replace that with clocker in bold. Now, one way to do that is we just go into find, we find it, control B, find again, control B, find again, control B, find again, control B, find again, control B. If the word doesn't occur that much, this is a perfectly valid approach. You just look for it and hit control B to make it bold and you're done. However, there is a way to do this on a global scale with search and replace that can work quite nicely. So we're going to look for the word clocker and replace it with the word clocker. Now here's the tricky bit. Let's click on more options and then we go to format and we select bold. For reasons that will be made clear a little bit later, at this moment you want to look up top and go text format of replace. Alright, that's what we want. We want the text format of the replace to be bold. Then you click OK. Next you verify clocker, nothing special, clocker bold. Looks good. So now when we look for and click the replace button, it's coming in in bold. We're in great shape. So that's the simple how to do it. The how not to do it is not so simple and can cause some major problems if you don't follow the uh, general rule of don't do more than you have to do. We have the word clocker. I'm going to go to file, reload, cancel all changes. We're going to look for clocker and replace it with bold. But I want to show you how you can mess this up. If you look up here, you'll notice that our current font is Courier New. So I'm going to show you a mistake that's very easy to make. We're going to go to Format, and we're going to say, OK, da, it's Courier New. So let's replace it with Font Courier New in bold. Click OK. Then you come down here, you do your search replace things seem to be fine. It looks very much as it did previously. However, it's not the same. Here's the difference. If we decide in doing a layout for this story that we want to use a different paragraph style such as text body, you'll notice when I switch to text body, which is Times New Roman, the word clocker did not shift. It is still courier new. Well, that's not working. We want the font choice to flow with the paragraph and the bold to flow with the word. So let me show you how that works if you don't do more than you need to do. We'll reload. We're going to go into search and replace. I'm going to come down here to the replace function, go to more options, I'll click on Format, get rid of that word, Courier New, click OK. It did not go away in the search, excuse me, in the Replace. It's still there. All right, maybe I didn't do it right. Let's just get rid of it. All right, there's nothing to find. Now we click OK. It's still there. The only way to get rid of that is to click No Format. 
Now after clicking Format, we have to reselect that box because we jumped up to the top. We make sure we're in the Replace box, which is where we want to be. Then we go to Format and we select Bold. Click OK and we start doing Search and Replace with Clocker. Replace, replace, replace. Looks the same as before. However, watch what happens when we change paragraph style. The word clocker also changed to Times New Roman. So let's reload again. We have Courier New, Font 10. So let's do Search and Replace. We're going to look for clocker. Go to more options, go to format, and we say, oh yeah, it's, t it's 10. We're going to replace it with courier new bold 10. So replace, replace, replace. Close this down. And you'll notice when we change paragraph style, now not only is the font stuck, as courier new, the font size is stuck at 10, and we wanted to change it to 12. This scrambles your document. You don't want to do this. The way to avoid it is simply do not do more than you need to do. Do not do more than you need to do. So let's go to File, Reload, and once again do it correctly. So we're going to control F, we go to replace with, and we get rid of all of the formatting. It's blank now, you'll see that. And you'll also notice we jumped again up to the search for. We make sure we're in replace with, go to format, and we only select the one attribute that we do want to enforce, which is typeface bold. We click OK. We're looking for Clocker, replace, and we can replace all. And we just replaced Clocker 178 times. That would have been a lot of control Bs if we just stepped our way through it. Now then, to test, we'll change paragraph style. The bold maintains, which is what we want. No matter what we do with the paragraph style, we want the word clocker to be bold. However, the font and the size are changeable. They do flow with the rest of the paragraph style. We can switch back to preformatted, and it's back to courier new 10 point. Life is good. If you get your document scrambled, I don't know of a way to simply fix it. At the moment, the way to fix it is just remove all special formatting and start over, which means putting bold back, italics back, and that can be a major hassle when you're working with an author that uses italics for emphasis, because you don't have a simple search and replace on a character's name. You have to actually know the context of each phrase to know whether it should be italic or not. So simply avoid this issue by not doing more than you need to do. Alright, I hope this is helpful.